The sum is the highest the council can bestow on an individual. It is awarded to James, not only for being the longest serving player in Doctor Rover's history, with a record 695 appearances, but also for the marvellous work he does as an ambassador for the suicide prevention charity, CARM. In what turned out to be a fantastic bit of business, James signed for the Rovers in 2004 for £30,000. James' career at Doncaster has been filled with some tremendous highs. Supporters will never forget the dramatic finish in the 2012-13 season when the last minute goal scored by James secured the first division championship. That must have been a tremendous uh, <laughs> event at, at that time. Um, but most of all, throughout his career, James has been a tremendous role model for both, both on and off the field. His contribution to football was also recognised beyond Doncaster, when last year he was presented with the, the Sir Tom, Tom Finney Award which is given to a player who has had an outstanding career and contributed to an exceptional amount to the English Football League. Outside football, James is also an ambassador for the suicide prevention charity CAR, raising thousands of pounds for the charity and sharing his own, own stories about mental health to support others. James, you quickly established yourself as a fan, as a fan favourite at the Rovers, and you have been a fantastic servant to the club, and an honour that we, to the club, and the honour that we bestow on you today is richly deserved. Thank you. May I invite Ross Jones to the comments? Thank you for that comment. And I could just stand up here and say, ditto. <laughs> but more importantly, James, it's about the inspiration and aspiration that you've created for our young people in all different forms of life. And I could quote, you know, I am involved that Dr. Rovers joined it in 2004. More important is what you've done while you've been here. And it is the highest thing that we can bestow on you and that's how in high esteem you're held and it's not only me but it's all. This went through council unanimously without any blips at all and so uh, you know when you're putting someone's name forward you think who's gonna try and stop this one <laughs> but no it was amazing that everyone actually joined forces because we want great inspirational people like yourself that gets our young people on the right track, male, female, doesn't matter, because we've got some great women footballers as well, haven't we? But more importantly, you spent most of your career here in Doncaster. So with that, I thank you for all you've done. Keep on the inspirational and aspirational work that you're doing, because that's what gets our young people moving in the right direction. So without further ado, I will pass to uh, get the book signed, I believe. Yep. Could we invite uh, now to sign uh, the Roll of Honour book? So I can invite Damien Allen, the Chief Executive of Doncaster Council, and James to join us. Thank you. Thing is, if you sign in the wrong place, James, what do you do? No pressure. <laughs> so no pressure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this one, yeah. That's it. Yes, you wish then. Which ever? It's a rubber of uh, one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And a foolish if I It's 
James, I'd like to present you with it. That's great. It's a fantastic piece of work, isn't it? Amazing, yeah. And, and it's got, got your name on the bottom, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the formal part. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> yeah, obviously, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, that's a fine. <laughs> um, no, I think, like you alluded to, if I go back to 2004 when I first came here, I was, I'd probably say, a broken man, if I'm being honest. Um, a Sunday League 16 year old making my Premier League debut at 19 and then getting relegated out of the Football League at 21 um, and then Doncaster gave me the opportunity to come here and almost kickstart my career um, I always go back to you need an opportunity to to then deliver um, and Doncaster gave me that opportunity I got married in Doncaster both my sons were born in Doncaster uh, my wife worked at the DRI, so you know it'll always hold a special part um, in my life. I've almost spent half my life here, so no, I've been always grateful to special people in the room. Um, you know, managers, players, fans um, that have almost brought me in and made me one of of their own. So this is an absolute massive honour for me. Um, so I'm so grateful. Thank you. <laughs>